uyayazi mshambi E-N-Y-T-A yuka nye wake weva ngayo Kakulika zine mkubo ezi izenza yuka nye mshambi E-E-E mkubo ze small business development Izi nguwe zi mshambi? Zama wano kato zwa wana 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 National Youth Development Agency Good evening to all our viewers. My name is Sia Temba Silbalba and welcome to ANC Caucus TV. With me today, I'm joined by the NYDA chairperson, Ms. Asana Luwaka. Ms. Luwaka, welcome to ANC Caucus TV. Thank you very much for having me, Sia. Thank you. Now, Ms. Luwaka, it's youth month. And for young people that do not know what the NYDA is, mm. and perhaps that never heard of the NYDA, mm. can you please just tell them what is the NYDA and what does the NYDA do? <laughs> Alright, so thanks once again for having me on the show. Um, so really in the main, the NYDA, a National Youth Development Agency, um, is an agency that is located in government, um, particularly within the Department of Women, Youth and Persons with Disabilities. And in the main, um, the role of the agency is to champion the interests of young people um, through our various programs and initiatives that we have, um, <coughs> as well as uh, being able to serve as a long be an advocacy on behalf of young people as it relates to, to youth affairs. Mm -hmm. So at the agency we, we offer a range of products and services um, so if you're a young person who wants to either start, grow okay. or sustain your business we have a wide range of product offerings from your financial and non-financial assistance, okay. um, the likes of you know, your business management trainings, um, your mentorship programs as well as then giving young people the necessary funding to either start, maintain or grow their particular enterprises. But then we're also alive to the fact that, you know, when we say young people are, are a homogeneous group, mm. so you've got youth that are wanting to enter into business, you equally have youth that are wanting work opportunities. Yeah. I mean, um, the unemployment rate in this country is, is um, exponentially high. Yeah. So, so at the, as the agency, what we have developed is a what we term a national pathway management network system. Mm -hmm. And really what that does is that it links uh, prospective employers with prospective employees. Mm. Um, so our platform there has a range of opportunities where young people can um, access. Uh, the platform is called sayouth.mobi. Okay. And we must also mention that it's a zero-rated platform, meaning okay. you don't need data. Okay. Because you're also alive to the fact of the high data costs. And if yes. a young person is already unemployed, then mm. you know, accessing those opportunities become becomes a, a, a hindrance. Yes. It's something is like data rather becomes a hindrance. Mm. So our platform is uh, zero rated. Um, it's the SA Youth dot Mobi network. Mm. Uh, but then we also have youth that are wanting to um, enter into the education space. Yeah. Um, so within that, we've got the scholarship fund uh, called the Solomon Matangu Scholarship Fund, yes. where we provide um, young, deserving students who are, for one reason or the other, might not necessarily be able to have the financial means to to um, get the necessary education. So we assist them with the scholarship fund. But then we also work with key stakeholders, such mm. as your NESFAS, your National Student Financial in scheme wherein we're able then to assist those particular young people to access um, financial financial assistance through government initiatives. 